Shalom, shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say shalom. This is Amatazar from the Chicago camp coming back at you again with another lesson entitled, Try My Heart and Make Me Blameless. So whenever we put these lessons together, we do it to feed the sheep and edify the body. But at the same time, when you put these lessons together, hey, it edifies you. Okay, It edifies you at the same time while you're trying to edify um, the body. Now, Jeremiah 17 and 9 says that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, Yahweh, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So the Lord searches the heart, right? And he, he, does, he says he tries the reins. Okay? So he's, he's going to test test you. All right? He's going to test you in your integrity. Isaiah 1 and 16. So the Lord told Israel a long time ago, he says, Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes and cease to do evil. Learn to do well, seek judgment and relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless and plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, said Yahweh. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But... If ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. Well, we know how that turned out. Okay, we refused and rebelled, and we were devoured with the sword and continue to be devoured up until this day. All right, and we were also scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and now we're living out the rest of our punishment. So we started off, um, you know, uh, talking about the heart being deceitful and, and wicked so we have these stony hearts all right and we're waiting on the day when the lord is going to put a fleshy heart okay he's going to change our heart and according to jeremiah 31 31 when he establishes that new covenant right all right and puts it in effect we won't sin anymore he's going to cause us to do his will but until that time <laughs> we got to stay in his word Psalms 119. Psalms 119. And 9. And it reads, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Yahweh, and teach me thy statutes. All right. So we we hide our we hide the word in our heart, okay, which is our mind, by staying in it. Okay, we stay in this word, all right, as much as possible, all right, and try to um, allow this word. To, to do what? To not just be hearers of the word, but actual doers of the word, right? So we're trying to apply this word to our lives, all right? And we do it, of course, all right, through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? We can't do it on our own, all right? And the fact that we have woken up to this truth, all right, is proof positive, right, that the Lord is dealing with us. So we woke up to the truth, and now we have to do what? Stay in the word, all right, and, and, and keep applying it. So Psalms 26. Here you have King David basically asking the Lord to try him. So look at his integrity. And it reads, Judge me, O Yahweh, for I have walked in mine integrity. 
I have trusted also in Yahweh, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. For thy loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Okay? So, David is asking the Lord to try me. You know? Psalms 139. And 23. And it reads, Search me, O power, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. So that's exactly what we need to do today. Is, is ask the Lord to uh, to try us, okay, and uh, reveal our own hearts to us. You know, sometimes we we uh, in our own in our own mind, okay, we can we can be uh, set in our set in a way, but you got we have to yield to the Spirit and yield to the Word. All right, we have to ask the Lord, you know, to show us our wrong, basically. Um, in closing, let's go to Job 31. Now, Job says some very, very strong words, okay? And, of course, he's talking in defense of his integrity, all right? Because he's like, hey, I know what I've done. I know I've walked, you know, upright. So this is Job 31, 3 and 10. It says, Is not destruction to the wicked? And a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity? Doth not he see my ways and count all my steps? If I have walked with vanity, or if my foot have hasted to deceit, let me be weighed in an even balance, that the Most High may know mine integrity. If my step have turned out of the way, and my heart walked after my eyes, and if any blot have cleaved, to my hands, then let me sow and let another eat. Yea, let my offspring be rooted out. Okay, these are strong words. He's like, let let my let my my children be, you know, be killed. It says, if my heart have been deceived by a woman, or if I have laid wait at my neighbor's door. Then let my wife grind unto another, and let others bow down upon her. So he's like, hey, if I've if I've messed with another man, woman, then hey, let somebody have my woman. So Job was definitely right. He was he was speaking on his his integrity and knowing that he has, um, you know, walked in the truth and in the way. Okay, of the word. All right, so with that, I'm going to say shalom to the next time. Shalom.